Welcome into the latest edition of Extra Time. We have Luis Garcia, Frank LeBoff and Ali Moreno here in the studio. First question. Mm. Percentage chance of Man City finishing the season trophyless. What do you think, Ali? Trophyless. Uh, I'm going to say 25%. 25%? Percentage chance of them yep, finishing yep. trophy Yes. So I'm saying there's 75% chance that they're going to have a trophy. Okay. Yeah. All I right. Don't know, I don't know why is there such a surprise. Is that, is that no, a, I, a low <laughs> number, a high number? I feel that so many people are so set on Man City definitely going to win something this season. Well, 70, I'm giving it 75%. All I right. mean, that's a high percentage. I mean, it is, yeah. That's, that's, that's a passing grade right there. Is it a passing grade for you, Frank LeBoff? No. I give zero percent because I think they're going to win the Premier League. That's right. the minimum Lu they're going to win. But Luis, yeah. Luis Garcia, are you somewhere in the middle? Yeah, I'm going to be in the middle. I'm 50 50. Uh, I think that they still have a chance to, to win a trophy. But, uh, uh, but they just uh, went out for, of one, so one trophy left. And uh, they still uh, two more to win. But um, I think that they're going to struggle. So 50 50. Yeah, isn't that Don's answer now? He just reverts to 50-50, yeah, doesn't right. he? It's, it's much easier for him to deal with 50-50, <laughs> yes. All right, for all, does Eric Ten Hag now have to win the Carabao Cup? Frank. Uh, who's left? Newcastle? Newcastle, Southampton, Southampton and... Manchester United. And Nottingham, Nottingham Forest. Forest. They're flying, yeah. yeah. Uh... Yes, yes, they have to win it. Yeah, they're the favorite, the, the contender. And I think they are, they are two and they're, they're getting better. They play well, so they have a chance to do that. So it's, yeah, but at the same time, they want to be, they want to finish in the first four. So they can't jeopardize, you know, the possibility of playing the Champions League next season by only winning the, uh, the FA Cup final. So um, it will have to be um, tactically and uh, in terms of uh, using his men, you know, Carefully, so, um, but he has to win the FA Cup. He's a favourite, yeah. All right. Luis, when you moved from Spain to Liverpool, what was the biggest adjustment you had to make on the pitch? What advice would you give João Felix on his move to Chelsea? <laughs> Get a t shirt. Well, for me, it was about uh, yeah, <laughs> the physical condition. <laughs> I think that uh, I needed to train more, I needed to work more. I need to go to the gym to try to get a little bit of strength because uh, I, I realized myself that it was about uh, going up and down during 90 minutes. And uh, physically, I was 65 kilograms back then in, in my best condition. And I was playing against guys that they were 80 kilos and 185, 190 uh, high. So at the end, it's about trying to, to adapt to that kind of style of football. So you have to think quicker go faster and decide uh, faster than them. So that was my first adaptation that I needed to do. So that will be my my tip. Then he needs to try to think faster than in Spain. They, he will not have the same time when he receives the ball. Quick question for Luis, right? The, the question was on the field. Yes. What about off the field, Luis? What, what advice would you give Joao Felix? Off the field? <laughs> To bring good food. I think I didn't enjoy the food in England when I was playing in Liverpool. <laughs> I needed to adapt. Also, it doesn't matter. So it was well, about. He's going to be in London. He's going to be in London. So there's ah, plenty okay. of great selections. Yeah, yeah, Maybe still, it's not English yeah. restaurants, but <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, Frank, I'm yeah. actually interested on, on your thoughts on that question. Um, I agree with Luis. I mean, you have to be stronger. You have to accept the fact that uh, if there is a push, Never stop playing, you know, uh, because uh, the crowd and uh, and even the, the players uh, and the referees um, won't like that. So you have to try to keep on playing, you know, don't, don't over, you know, overplay the fact that you've been, uh, you've been kicked or touched and everything. You have to try to stay on your feet and, and try to play. Outside the... Um, the field, he can call me. You know, I have very nice Spanish, Italian, French restaurant that he can go to. But the the biggest advice will be stay at home, stay in a warm place, you know, and sleep well. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. 
What would be a good spell for Felix Ale? Over or under 12 goal involvements? Does that mean does that mean assist or goals? That, yeah, as he just it, it, overall, so he assist and goals. So if he makes a run to the near post and takes the defender away, that frees somebody up. But that, is that a goal involvement as well? I'd say goal involvement is just the assist and the oh, goals. Okay, I'm, I'm just asking for a friend. Somebody used to do that, do that quite a bit. I didn't get any credit <laughs> uh... for it. Uh, in any case, I digress. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna say that Joao Felix, if he were to get say, a combination of six goals, six assists, that actually would be a, an impactful rest of the season for him because he hasn't been able to do that with Atletico Madrid. So I'm going to go with yes. Over 12 would be, would be yes, a very successful six months. Well, the hardest person to please when it comes to Chelsea is Frank LaBeouf. So what do you say, Frank? What would be good for João Felix? Over or under 12 goal involvements? I don't care. I want you know, him to run when he has the ball, to run when he doesn't have the ball. I want him to be involved you know, with everything that I want to see on the field. And that's more how he's going to behave on the field, which is going to make me think that he's uh, completely um, uh, into the game, that he's, that he's really want to do something good. Scoring goals, you know, not scoring goals, giving us his yes, it's going to, be, it's going to come if you are 100% you know uh, prepared to uh, to fight and to and to fight for the club the thing is for Chelsea you know again we have so many players like him I want to see something different I want to see a warrior at front I didn't see any warrior for a while now okay well a warrior. if you're expecting a warrior Joao Felix is not your guy <laughs> That's I know. not the guy. I know. <laughs> I wonder if, you, if Chelsea had to do a little backpedal today because they put Hola Joe Felix, uh, Joe Felix, but they wrote the Spanish Hola uh -huh. on the hashtag, uh -huh. and oh. many people told them this is not the way the Portuguese would spell it, okay. and that swiftly oh. came off Twitter, and then there was a different announcement. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> why, can, why can people just take the, hey, at least they're saying that they're making an attempt. I don't, I don't really care. You're not bothered? <laughs> no. There's a hashtag for this? There was a hashtag from Chelsea. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. We, we live in a crazy, <laughs> crazy world, let me tell you. Well, all I say I is respect for the language. Did you didn't do that when I signed? When I signed for Chelsea, they didn't say bonjour, Frank Leboeuf. They didn't care. They didn't even say hello. No, you they know? said hola, no, Frank just... Leboeuf instead. <laughs> hashtag. Did they hashtag no, it, though? Was there they a didn't hashtag? say anything. They, they say, who's that yeah, guy? Th who's that guy? <laughs> there wasn't even technology when you signed for Chelsea, Frank Leboeuf. Wow. That's true. That's true. <laughs> It's all right, I was around then as well, so I'm, I'm bringing myself into that. Yeah, well, so was I, but wow. <laughs> <laughs> Ale, what are your thoughts on Alex Moreno joining Unai Emery's Aston Villa, and what do you think his impact can be? I only ask because the two of you have similar names. Ah, yeah, and that's where the uh, similarities end. Look, uh, Alex Moreno is a guy <laughs> who will be a consistent performer for Unai Emery. Unai Emery knows him well, uh, and... It's a guy who you're going to see up and down that left-hand side. He will be an asset in the attack. He will join in the attack and be able to cross balls in. And every so often, you will see him appearing at the far post and perhaps scoring a goal or two. He, I think, is a player that Unai Emery expects a lot to help down the left-hand side for Aston Villa. Last question. Ale, have you considered growing a beard? I'm sure Frank can give you tips on how to pull off the bald head beard combo. Uh, I have not considered yeah. growing a beer. I too much work. <laughs> that's not. Uh -uh. That's not for me. And more importantly, I don't care for the beer, right? But my wife doesn't care for the beer. My wife doesn't like it. And if the wife doesn't like it, it's just not happening. Because we all know, happy wife, happy life. <laughs> well, I'm just saying, I like to go home and feel loved and appreciated. <laughs> <laughs> the beer would bring a lot of resentment, and I don't need resentment in my life. I don't love you with the beer. Yes, I do not love you with the beer. I don't need to give her any reasons not to love me, by the way. So, yes, okay. I'm going to be clean cut. From Frank. No, so from, from now on, we know who the boss is at the uh, Moreno's house, you know, and we decide whether you have to wear a beer or a beard or not, you know. Uh, I don't care if my wife likes it or not, you know, that's my style. If you're not happy, you know, ha <laughs> ha. You know, so be it. You know, I have my beard. And you know, that's an advice from 
the regretted uh, Gianluca Vialli. He always said, you know, when you, when you shave your head, you cannot be without a beard or a moustache. It doesn't fit. He has to go. And I know, and I mentioned that Ali is not shaving his head. He's trimming his head, which is different, which is completely well. different. He has another the spot. shine, the shine coming off my head right now, and the lights in the studio would suggest that I am shaving my head. <laughs> what else do you? What else not, do you want well, from me, Frank? <laughs> I mean, I have no, lights no, shining I, I on top see, of my head. I can see. I still can see the the, the hair from the side. You know. I can okay, see well, the hair from the side. Hey, don't be jealous because there's some hair back here. Don't be jealous, Frank. I can still oh, that, grow that it that out I'm if not I jealous. want to. I'm not, jealous that, I'm not jealous about that, you know. Maybe your tie, <laughs> maybe ah, your, your suit, well, but not, not about that. I cannot believe that. Uh, the, how legit is my shaving of the hair? It is. You're right here. You're close by. I'm close. I can see. Oh. The shine is blinding yes. me. Yes. There's a lot of shining lights. Uh, meanwhile, Luis Garcia has so? magnificent oh, hair. Oh, yes, he does. Well, that's that's a pretty guy. Oh, right? yes, yeah. Yes. Luis he Garcia. Yeah. Hopefully. Yeah. Have you, have hopefully you grown a beard? Here. Hopefully it stays here. Have Never. you ever grown a beard? Uh, Never? I don't, I, I, don't, I don't have enough around. No, it doesn't look good. Yeah. I grew a beer for a championship run once with the uh, Columbus crew. It was part of the sort of good luck kind of thing, and we all did it as a team. So there you go. A play of beer, if you will. Uh, th that was it. That was it. Well, because again, <laughs> let me reiterate, babe, I love you. I will not grow a beer. I'm coming home clean cut. So last question is from me, and maybe you guys can answer. Whenever I went on the preseason with Real Madrid, mm. everybody suddenly had a beard yeah. and they were all unkempt. And I used to wonder, is this because they're not allowed to do this when they're back at home? Well, because you're in preseason, you're doing two a days, you're doing fitness sessions, you're doing all the, the last thing that you're thinking about is shaving. You're like, ah, at some point I'll shave whenever <laughs> we go home. But in the meantime, let's just let it be. Were you a bit more like that on preseason, Luis? Yes, yes, yes. That, that, that's the only, the, the only time that I left the beard or the, the hair and everything because you, just, you are just too tired, so you don't even think about what's happening. And because there was no social media or everything, no interviews, no anything, you just were working to the, on the beach and going back to the hotel, so you didn't care about anything. Now, everybody looks fantastic. Even they bring the, the hairdresser to the place, so yeah, different world. Frank is going, what? And shaking his head at this. Of course, of course, you know, always to be, pre you always to be prepared, you know. So you shaved every two days your head, Frank LeBeuf. You trim when you have to trim your beard, you know. You wax when you have to be, to, to do so, you know. And you always prepared, always. That's the difference between a World Cup winner. Ah, is that it? It's, is it also the fact that he no. speaks of himself in the well, third person? Why do you person? have to bring that? <laughs> why do you have to bring that? <laughs> World Cup I don't know, winner. It like you were, it's you, nothing you, to do with that. <laughs> you know oh what? God. Fail but to prepare, right. prepare right. to fail is what he was telling you guys. Man. But yeah, but I'm right. Anyway, we've got to go. Yeah, no. We've got to go. Frank's got to go shave. Okay. Please. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.